from his insane accolades in the sport of basketball to the outraged backlash at his being involved in the 2023 All-Star Weekend, this is the untold truth behind Karl Malone. If you're a real NBA fan, chances are you've heard of Karl Malone. Heck, you may have even watched him play and cheered him on. Considered to be one of the greatest power forwards in NBA history, Malone has a larger-than-life reputation in the sport of basketball. But some fans might not know that the former Utah Jazz player has a history of extremely questionable behavior, which has outraged basketball fans everywhere and led them to question why Malone was allowed to participate in the 2023 All-Star Weekend. Born in 1963, Malone was born on a farm in Summerfield, Louisiana, and raised by a single mother alongside eight other siblings, of which he was the youngest. He began playing basketball in high school, and after graduating, he attended Louisiana State Tech University, where he helped lead their Bulldogs team to their first-ever NCAA tournament in 1984 and helped them land first place in the Southland Conference in 1985. That same year, he was selected in the first round of the NBA draft as the 13th overall pick by the Utah Jazz. The Utah Jazz select Carl Malone of Louisiana Tech. There is Carl Malone, Louisiana Tech University. He is 6'9", 250, played high school basketball in Summerfield, Louisiana. Malone spent almost 20 seasons in the NBA, retiring in 2004, and of those 19 seasons, he spent 18 of them with the Utah Jazz, the team that drafted him. Over the course of his long career, Malone has earned numerous accolades and many NBA fans would include him in the greatest of all time debates. He won the MVP award in 1997 and 99, is a 14-time NBA All-Star, and is an 11-time member of the All-NBA First Team. I mean, it doesn't get much more impressive than this this guy's resume. If that wasn't enough, he ranks third in all-time NBA career points, clocking in an astounding 36,928 points. The only players to beat his number are Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and LeBron James. He also holds the record for the most free throws, attempted and made. <laughs> There's no denying Malone's amazing achievements in the sport of basketball. He's one of the greats for a reason, but as almost any sports fan knows, great on-court performance doesn't mean that you haven't done some pretty messed up things off the court. And unfortunately for any Carl Malone fans, he has done some messed up stuff. To understand, we've got to take it back to before Malone was even drafted into the NBA. In 1983, while playing for the Bulldogs at Louisiana Tech University, the then 20-year-old Carl impregnated a 13-year-old girl named Gloria Bell, who he claimed was his girlfriend. According to Bell, her family declined to press charges of statutory rape due to Carl's impending NBA fortune, but Malone decided to deny paternity, forcing her family to sue the young basketball player, which eventually led to them settling out of court in a manner that allowed Malone to not have to acknowledge that he was the dad. The son that he fathered, Demetrius Bell, didn't get to meet him till he was 17 years old, at which point Malone told him it was too late for him to be his father and he'd have to make it on his own. Well, Demetrius went on to become an offensive tackle in the NFL, playing for the Buffalo Bills, Philadelphia Eagles, and the Dallas Cowboys. We will have to be here at NSU. Uh, it will come after Scott Stoker basically asked me for the fifth, sixth time to come play football. Since then, he's opted to discuss his relationship with his father publicly, saying that they reunited in 2014, and in 2018, he said they talk nearly every day. Still, regardless of the patching up of their personal relationship, I'm sure most fans are taking issue with the fact that Malone evidently had with a minor when he was 20 years of age. But that's not the only transgression Malone has made to make some fans question his legacy and the NBA's refusal to cut ties with the former All-Star. Malone had more trouble with children. When a woman named Bonita Ford sued him after giving birth to his twins, Cheryl and Daryl Ford, in 1980, the NBA veteran was held in contempt of court and agreed to another out-of-court settlement. But Malone refused to acknowledge that the twins were his until 1998 and said, I didn't handle it right. I was wrong. Father time is the biggest thief out there and you can't get it back. Both Daryl and Cheryl went on to play basketball at Louisiana Tech, the same university their father attended, and Cheryl even ended up playing in the WNBA 
NBA for 10 years, winning three championships with the Detroit Shock. It seems that even when he's having kids legally, Malone needs some convincing to acknowledge his kids. Now, it would be bad enough if the controversy surrounding him stopped there, but unfortunately, it doesn't. In 2004, Malone was accused of harassing the wife of the late Kobe Bryant, Vanessa Bryant. He and his wife Kay were friends with the couple, but that seemingly didn't stop him from making unwanted advances towards his friend's wife. This includes telling Vanessa, who's of Mexican descent, that he was hunting for little Mexican girls after she questioned his cowboy outfit at the Staples Center. Another incident involved him asking her if she could keep a secret, referring to himself as her daddy, and Carl supposedly admitted the exchange to Kobe, but later denied it on a phone call between the couples, forever fractioning his relationship with the Bryants. If Kobe don't like me today, that's Kobe Bryant's fault. It ain't mine or his problem. Yeah. I don't have a beef with nobody because I come in peace, but I do prepare for war if I have to. And I absolutely think Kobe one of the best athletes competitors I've ever seen. In 2015, when Malone was questioned by Mark Lamont Hill about his disagreement with Kobe, instead of apologizing, he offered to fight his former friend. And that's the least serious of his transgressions. Because of this, many fans were outraged to see that Malone was allowed to participate in the 2023 All-Star Weekend festivities as a judge for the slam dunk contest and rubbing shoulders with LeBron James and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. ESPN's Bomani Jones was quick to voice his disapproval for the former All-Star's presence when questioned about him, saying, I hated him before I had a great reason. I only had good ones, like being a dirty player and elbowing people all the time. And then we find out the whole thing, if you don't know this, that when he was in college, he had a baby with a 12-year-old. This shocked the audience in attendance who clearly weren't aware of Malone's past. But Jones wasn't the only one disappointed by the NBA's decision to include Carl in the festivities. Tons of fans took to Twitter to voice their opinions, with one one writing, can't be stated enough, but it's really, really gross that Carl Malone is there and that the NBA is just basically like. Another wrote, the NBA continuing to honor Carl Malone is certainly a decision, considering it bills itself as one of the most progressive leagues in sports. It's safe to say by now that Malone's aware of the backlash against his presence at the All-Star Weekend. In a recent interview, Carl said, I'm not discussing any of that backlash. I don't care. That's my life. That's my personal life. And I'll deal with that like I've had to deal with everything. So, whatever. Regardless of what any fans think. Malone was allowed to partake in the festivities, and the fact that the 2023 All-Star Weekend took place in Salt Lake City, the hometown of his longtime team, the Utah Jazz, likely had something to do with it. Or maybe the NBA was hoping that most fans would make that connection and ignore the unsavory details about the former All-Star's past. Well, there you have it, folks. From his insane accolades in the sport of basketball to the outraged backlash at him being involved in the 2023 All-Star Weekend, that was the untold truth behind Carl Malone.